So my name is Max Coates. I'm a racing driver in the Renault UK Clio Cup in, in this car. Um, my racing career started when I was eight in karting and then after eight years of karting moved to Ginetta Juniors and then through Ginetta GT Super Cup, uh, Porsche Carrera Cup, British Touring Cars and now into, now into the Clio's. I think as a as a kid it'd be my be my dad really. Um, you know he was he was the one who kind of gave me that, that motorsport bug. Um, very early doors in on motorbikes really. Um, and then I think mum mum put a band to two wheels and <laughs> four became the thing. Uh, driving a racing car was on the Stow circuit at Silverstone uh, in a Ginetta Junior. Um, yeah, it was it was tough. <laughs> yeah, I was only 15, so I didn't really know how to change gear, how to use clutch very well. Um, so yeah, safe to say, out a few spins was was pretty awful, to be honest. <laughs> If you went off that day, definitely not. <laughs> um, I think probably half a year later, it was it was looking a lot brighter. So um, yeah, you know, you, you never. I don't think anybody gets into these in, in the first the first time you go and just uh, set the world alight. It's it's very very rare for that to happen um, without kind of a lot of testing closed doors. So but yeah, it's uh, it's been a, a long rise through, if you like. Um, I feel like we're getting there now. Um, don't stall, <laughs> probably. Um, forgetting how to heel toe, <laughs> it's like, how do you do that? Um, all sorts. Is my my first race was uh, uh, was at Thruxton, so in a Junior Junior. If there's any track that you could probably choose to to not do as your first race, it would probably be Thruxton. <laughs> Massively so. It's uh, close battling, um, you know, close close quarters racing all the time, and um, yeah, it it really develops you into you know this with the Clio's, but hopefully also for the future in, in British touring cars. Yeah, massive. <laughs> I thought I was going in the wall when I left the pits. <laughs> yeah, there's loads more power, slick tyres. There's a lot of things to kind of uh, contend with, but um, yeah, we won at our first race meeting, so I guess the transition was 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 quick, swift, and and went very very successfully. Yeah, um, I don't think the, the the sponsorship side is is ever easy. Um, when it all seems to fall into place, it all just seems to click. Um, so you know it it almost seems to all just happen when it when it does everything falls into place but I think that's that's testament to the hard work that um, not only I put in but a lot of other people behind the scenes in, in making all of this happen uh, in about a week <laughs> was your answer um, we got I didn't really prepare for it at all, is, is the honest answer. Um, the deal came together so late that we didn't have time to. Um, so I think about a week before was when we got confirmed. First time I drove the car or let the clutch up was when I pulled out for FP1 on Saturday morning. Um, so my preparation was I sat in the car, got given a manual, and that told me everything except how to turn the car on. So uh, yeah, the preparation was quite low. Yeah, I mean, it, it was here uh, at Croft. It was a fantastic event. Um, and that, that is definitely something that I'd like to get back to in the future. I mean, first of all, I think, you know, the cars are, cars are front wheel drive. So, you know, as the majority of British touring cars are. And it was the first time I'd ever driven anything that was, that was a front wheel drive car. Um, you know the cars are you know relatively close in terms of lap time, um, but they're also quite close in terms of the racing style. Um, 
you know, particularly over the last three years, there's been probably six or eight drivers on a grid that could win a race, um, probably even more. And it's the same in touring cars. So, you know, the the close the close quarters racing and the um, the the quality of the grid is something that would really help going towards touring cars. Winning my first race here at Croft, um, yeah, just a sensational experience, and the the best the best buzz that a racing driver can ever get, and I think the first time is is always the best. Mixed, really. Um, Brands was up there, Donington was down here, and so far Croft has been back up here again. So I'm hoping that Donington was just a momentary blip, and, and the rest of the season is going to continue at this this level of high. I want to get back into British touring cars. Um, big part of the reason that we joined Team Hard was was to help us towards doing that. Um, so yeah, hopefully. The, the three wins that we've had so far this year puts us on a, on a pathway towards doing that from a, from a driving perspective um, and the partnerships that we can put together help us towards that for next year too. Mm. It's, I'd say it's hard to pick because there's, there's been so many points that have been great. Um, I think driving the British Touring Car was epic um, the first win here at Croft ranks very highly um, three wins in a Ginetta G50 in a race weekend at Donington um, you know like a 100% win that was that was pretty awesome um, I think if we could have race win and fastest lap today and lead every lap then to do the double with all the points at home that would be pretty special <laughs> Keep at it, don't give up, and when times get hard, have a night off and then crack on. It's, um, you know, it's not, a, it's not an easy sport or, uh, or thing to do, and um, there's a, there is, although there is a lot of highs, or we've been able to experience a lot of highs, there's a lot of lows that come with it, so stick at it when it comes to them times and hopefully you'll, you'll make a success of it. <laughs>